What could I possibly be missing? Okay, wait. I didn't even talk to all of them. I only talked to one of them. Excuse me. I'm not the correct dealer. Okay. Let's go back down. Let's actually talk to all of them because I only talked to that one person. But if I talk to all of them, I might get some insight into some thingamabobbers. So let me talk to you. My RI is broken. The big guy told me that because she sees it all. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Waiting was fun at the beginning, but now it's just boring. Oh, it's cool. Ugh. Are you sure you won't take my number? Let me see the screen. <laughs> Dude, it's almost my turn. Exchange your tickets. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know why I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Now I can talk to the eye. I went too early. I, I went too early. I tried to get ahead of the game. Hello, I have a question. Excuse me. I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Patient trouble. Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. Uh, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need this ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home, but now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mapuka said I, that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and I won't answer my question. I need my Kitty. Mr. Midnight hugs are the best comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Aetherstia and be happy. Thumbnail worthy! <laughs> These are so cute. Aww. Oh. Mm, lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay. So let's go back down 103. Go all the way down. Hello, Mother Mabuka. I hope you have a wonderful rest. Alright. You need to drink this. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. Thank you. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Okay, bye bye. Mumbai, bye bye. Mumbai. Hey, let's go. Yeah, baby. Hey, what's up? I have a ticket. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You lucky though. Many lose their mind instead. <laughs> lucky? But how do I get an appointment then? Oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Okay. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly. Because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ugh, alright. I'll go make the call then. Ugh. Alright. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. What was it, 105? Is that where the phone was? Yes, sir. Alright, let me see. Was zero one two two one two two? sorry. Zero one oh one two twenty one two seventeen two seventy six. Oh, it's only right there. Zero one two two. Nope. Uh, 
Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to make a call to call and to make an appointment. Mm, it's Franbo. Mm hmm. I'm available now. No, no. Uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Love it. Mm. Hello. Hello. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Franbo is my name. The appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. Doctor, we'll see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Can, can I... Oh, hi. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Whew, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. All right, you right. You you are very right about that. It's not your business. Okay, bye. See you later. All right. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remmer, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly... I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remmer, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping from, sorry, dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Stop it. Stop it. Hey. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hey, no, no, no. No, no. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, it can't be. Stop it. Hey, hey, stop that. Don't be doing that. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Hey, stop it. No, 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 no. It was not me. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? Don't call me your darling. The dull little critter must suffer and die before coming a star. Before becoming a star. Okay. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. The monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I had to find Kitty and leave. <gasps> Dr. Dearn. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to you, Thurston, my darling. Palantris can help. Palantris. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Oh, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dearn, alright? He seems to be in trouble. I'm not gonna pull that. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna click it. Hey, whoa, Jabu, wah, wowie. Doctor Dan, you all right, sir? What if I? <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna use it. Hello. <laughs> Maybe this will make him. <laughs> oh, dear lord. It's not good. 
I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Dearn, it's me, Fran. I can't see very well. Fran Boster from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? What have I done? Oh, no, if you're going to start blaming me right away, I'm not saving your life. No. Mm-mm. Nope. Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters, I don't feel like playing games. All right, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ugh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. You want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, what are you talk- Why are you talking like that? Who's this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. So they were twins. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Yep. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remmer did a great job. I knew it was that fucking... I knew it was him. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. But I don't understand how you can be so calm about it. Wait, so I did that? Oh. So I actually did do that. Wait, no, but he manipulated me into doing that because he all-powerful. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Rimmer all the time, but why does he hunt me? Rimmer is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded, powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You were suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. I don't trust you. Hey, hold on. I don't trust that for a goddamn second. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Don't stand over the edge like that. Fran, my dear, listen to me. No, not listening. I don't care. I don't care what you have to say. No, nope, give me my cat. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants what's best for you. How the fuck does he know what's best for me? You and I don't know what's best for me. It's not him for, for him to decide. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to, to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No, 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 no. You ain't getting rid of Mr. Midnight. No. Do I be kidding? I hate you so much. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. It's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I hate you. Kill her. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Stop it, Fran. Help, help. Please help. Kill you. Fuck, kill you. Swear to God. You did this. Don't you dare touch a crazy little monster. Oh! Woo! My goodness. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring it to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran? Are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You're right about Fran, Dr. Deere, and she was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. 
Edward! I love you, Edward. Yes! Let's fucking go. Did she scream? <laughs> oh, friend. Everything will be fine. Who... Who... Who are you? I'm Edward. The one many children talk about. But... But you're not human. Ectobro ectoprot palantras monakais. Palantra! Gorska, Edward. I found him. Oh my goodness. Stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. <gasps> Mr. Midnight! <laughs> Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Aww. Thumbnail worthy! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is perfect! This is even better. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh my god. Oh, this makes me so happy. Okay. <laughs> She's alive! What happened? Itward? Palantris? My head hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Blah, blah, blah. Go? All right. Dr. Darren, look, this is Itward and Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? Uh-oh. Oh. Um. He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can you come with us? Please, he's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is to make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Mm. Thank you, Palantris. Oh. <laughs> now let's send Dr. Dearn home. Marcel Dearn, Oanum Vecma, Vecna, <laughs> Vecma Su Sedensla Ecto. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Oh. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness. Oh. Oh, I love it! <laughs> and the flying machine. <laughs> oh my god. This is so cute. Achievement unlocked, the end. Oh my god, I fucking love it. Uh, I'm so glad. There's such a big difference between, like, watching someone play a game and then playing it for yourself. It's, like, it's a huge difference. And I haven't seen this game for, like, seven years. So, being able to come into this with a relatively fresh mind, <laughs> relatively fresh, um, was amazing. I truly loved it. Um, I love the music. I love all of it. It was amazing. <sighs> This is so good. Okay. I skipped through. <laughs> I skipped through. But, um, that was so good. Chapters. Look at my sober day, part one and two, vegetative state, part one and two, the house of madness. My goodness.
That was amazing. Well, I'm so glad that I decided that I was going to play this, even if it was seven years old. I don't really care. I've been wanting to play it for so long, <laughs> seven years to be exact, and I finally got the chance to play it. Um, this has been amazing, really exciting. I absolutely love this game, and I think this will be one of my favorites for a long while. I, oh my god, even though it's so like old and so long ago that this was out, it's just amazing every time. Like I saw it, like I watched like the gameplay of it more than twice probably <laughs> and it's a long game like I spent like god I spent like how many hours seven hours probably playing this I the time flew by so quick it didn't feel like seven hours until I looked at the clock and I was like wait a minute but that was amazing um I hope you guys enjoyed if you did let me know what you thought down below if you guys want to play this for yourself it is Franbo it is on Steam I'm not sure if you can find it anywhere else i'm sure you can but i just don't know and that was amazing so subscribe stay tuned for more and go check out my other videos without further ado i'm saying goodbye <laughs> gonna put you in my shadow now never gonna see the light of day baby you know i'm taking over this town gonna have it on my way